Hi, my name is Amy Wishnick, and I am the principal of Wishnick and Associates, a nonprofit consulting firm that works with all sorts of nonprofits across the sector. My practice involves a lot of strategic planning, board governance, and board development, lots of assessments. I seem to like to take all sorts of information and put it together on behalf of my clients. And because of my past experience uh, as a, in executive search, and having been a volunteer and done many searches and marrying that with my work, I do a lot of executive transition engagements where I either do the search or where I work as an advisor to a board of directors going through a search. It's one of those things that a board has only one opportunity to do it right. And so I like to bring my expertise and marry it with that of the board to make sure that the nonprofit really has a successful search and can move on to its next level. I started out my work life um, at the National Endowment for the Humanities where I managed um, research grants, which was wonderful. It was like going to grad school. And so I was on the other side of the desk um, doing, you know, as a grant maker, which I loved. When I moved back to Chicago, I really wanted to be a grant maker again and stay that, but I found that it was a very, uh, it was kind of a tight world. It sort of still is, but back then, shall we say it was. Um, I had a brief stint as a development director in an organization, and then I went to work in a law firm where I did, non I did attorney recruiting and managed all of their associate hiring, which was really great. I then will say that I have, I have two adult children and I stayed home with them for a while. And then I went back to work and I worked at an executive search firm for seven years and loved, um, loved doing that. And when I decided that I had another adventure in me and wanted to be my own boss, I decided to go back into the nonprofit world because I liked it and partly because I'd been doing a lot of volunteering and really frankly decided that I could get paid for what I was doing. One of the most wonderful things about being an independent consultant is I actually am my own boss. And I get to run my business the way I want to run it. I get to interact with my clients the way I want to and according to my values. And nobody's nobody's breathing down my back telling me to hurry something up because someone else wants to close out a client or an engagement or whatever. And and that freedom is um, that freedom is just really important to me and, and to be able to rely on and, and trust my instincts, which so far in my life have, have served me well. I can't believe that I frankly get to get up every morning and do this work with my clients. As I describe it often to my clients, I can't house the homeless. I cannot go make policy for education or youth or whatever. And my family will be the first to tell you that I can't sing or dance in terms of arts organizations. But what I can do is bring my expertise in organizations, in governance, in executive transition, and in all of those things. And I can bring my expertise and marry it to what my clients do and help them do better. One of the things that I learned when I was doing executive search was that I sometimes felt that people were paying more attention to the carpet on the floor and the chairs that their employees were sitting in than they were paying to how they were hiring and who they were bringing on and what the culture and values were in their organizations. And so that piece of it is really important to me. And so to find organizations where the values and the work really resonates with me is is absolutely what I love about doing what I do. I have worked with so many different organizations in 18 years. I mean, it's really kind of remarkable the, the kinds of organizations and, and I'm truly um, honored by the trust that my clients put in me. One of the things that I've been doing over the years that I learned about actually through ACN was the Axelson Center. And so um, for years I taught strategic planning at the new CEO's boot camp. And one of the people I met there was Betty Bogg, who is the executive director of Connections for the Homeless. And it must, I don't know, it must have been 2016. 
she called me up and, and I will say that I didn't anticipate getting clients out of doing that. I just did it because I really wanted to do it and I thought it would be fun and it was. And Betty called me and she said, well, I just finished up boot camp, and I was in the strategic planning class and you were speaking my language. So I'd like to talk with you about doing strategic planning with our organization. And so I did the first plan with them. And then during the pandemic, actually they, in, before the pandemic, and then we worked, did the work during the pandemic, they engaged me to do the second strategic plan with them. And that was the first time that I'd ever worked with a client on the subsequent plan of one we'd already done. And it was an extraordinarily exciting opportunity to see how far they'd come, to see the strides that they'd made, to see how incredibly resilient as an organization they are and the work that they did during the pandemic and the creativity and the boldness. And so we were able to build on that in the next strategic plan, which we finished up at the very beginning of 2021. And so that's just been really exciting to, to kind of see an organization grow and to be part of charting that, that path has been really exciting. There's an organization called the Charge Syndrome Foundation, and they're a national organization. And they found me in 2008 on the ACN website. And they are in fact, the first national client that I had and sort of the rest is history because now I've had many national clients. But they found me on ACN because they were coming to Chicago for a national board meeting at the site of where their summer conference was going to be. And they wanted somebody in Chicago to facilitate their a board training for them. So we did all our work frankly, virtually before virtual was a thing in 2008. And I met them for the first time the night before the board training. We had a very good um, conversation. I liked them very much. And they, they had a, at that time, they were beginning to grow in a different kind of a way. And without going into too much detail, let's just say that I facilitated in that day some change that was unexpected in that we talked about a particular issue and I said, are, are you okay? If I see an opportunity to open the door and do this, are you okay with me doing that? And they said, yes. And the door opened and I walked through and brought them with me. And there was this really kind of significant change and which is very exciting. And because I just liked them very much, I kept in touch over the years. And lo and behold, I guess last fall, I got a phone call from them and I'm doing another project with them, which morphed from what we initially thought it was going to be. And they are in the process actually of hiring their first ever executive director. They're, they're very special, I think, because they were my first national client and because it was, it was truly the ACN profiles at work.